Hey, Fix It Tony here. Uh, it's been a while um, since my last video for a few reasons. Uh, really, it's been quiet on the home front. Another problem is my computer that I do most of my editing on has been glitching, and uh, I'm not sure how much time there'll be between me shooting this film and it actually getting posted. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get a new computer someday. Today uh, is going to be a home repair. I'm going to be installing a new uh, counter-based uh, soap dispenser. I, have, I already have a hole. My other one broke, um, so I have to put a new one in. And the one that I'm replacing was probably medium quality. So I needed to find a replacement, and there's a bunch of junk, I think, on Amazon. Um, and I didn't want to go with an electronic version. So I took a chance and went with a name, uh, the Hans Grohe brand. And uh, this is what you get. And I'm actually quite happy. Uh, it's very heavy. This is all heavy metal, uh, pretty thick. And the mechanism is quite, quite robust. The other quality feature that I think is a quality feature is this little rubber nipple here for the soap to come out. I think that's actually pretty cool. And um, the bottle has an O-ring to keep from leaking, which I think is a good idea. And then it also came with a funnel, so pretty clever. Um, I had to just use my own funnel when I refilled um, the uh, the soap, but otherwise it's uh, pretty uh, pretty robust. So I first thing I'm gonna, first thing I did was um, certainly remove the old one and cleaned uh, the area from all residue and debris. Then I'm looking at this, noticing that this is a plastic base here. It's raised. This metal doesn't go all the way down. Maybe it's to keep the water from staining this and, and keeping it sort of clean. Um, but however, uh, what I'm noticing here, watch, is um, there's now, go there's a small gap underneath here. And I think water will collect and potentially, it probably it shouldn't leak down, but this is hard plastic. There's no rubber gasket. Um, so I'm worried about soap scum ultimately and, and, and other stuff collecting. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna put some plumber's putty on the bottom of this base here, and that'll help squeeze this and seal this up. Uh, it's important, um, you wanna get plumber's putty that's safe on granite and marble, uh, because this can discolor um, the, the, the surface if you don't use the right kind. And it sort of just looks like this. Here, let's... Uh, So you kind of got to dig it out and then you're basically creating your own gasket really you don't need a lot because it's a flat surface it's not uneven and what will happen is any excess will get squeezed out from underneath and then I'll just get a, a putty knife or some sort of knife and scrape it out. And then that's gonna create a nice tight seal. It'll also keep this secured so that the plastic nut doesn't have to do as much work because once this gets sucked down, you know, the, the tendency for this to move and shift and this to wiggle loose uh, should be diminished. So then it's just a matter of dropping this down. Um, so I'm, this hole is obviously bigger, you know, so I'll just sort of eyeball what center is. And just drop it down. You can see how that's pressing out already. 
that's good. And now it's time to go underneath and screw this up. You can do this by hand. It is quite, the, the arms reach up there, but if you have a special tool like this, what you're gonna do is you're going to, uh, it's, it swivels for on and off, and I'm going to grab this like this, and then grab it, hold it from down here, and tighten it. And this has sort of like an automatic release. So here, let me show you. So let's say we're connected. You can see how it sort of jumps, and then you can tighten it. So I'll try to get the camera up there also to show you. So clearly, this is tricky. Uh, let's see if I can reach because I have a garbage disposer in my way. Uh, and I have a sink trap, dishwasher hardware. This is the worst part. Yep, I can't get around this. <laughs> oh boy. So you just gotta find Now, it's plastic, so you gotta be careful. You can tighten it too tight and crack it. And remember, we have that putty, and that putty's gonna help. You could use anything that's small. I'm just gonna use a, a skewer to just squeeze this or scrape this out. There we go. Now the next step is going to be uh, filling the, the bottle up and then basically, again, wrangling it all the way up and, and screwing it on. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that part. Um, pretty straightforward, you fill this up and then you jam it up. Now the, the important thing to remember though is, um, not to overfill this because if you fill it to the top, here, wait a minute. If you fill this bottle up to the top, as you are sticking this straw in, it's going to displace whatever soap's in there. I would uh, hold it like this far from the top rim so that as you shove this in, it's going to displace, and then as you pump it, it'll get drawn back down. Likewise, when you're refilling, um, you keep this bottle in place. You don't crawl under the sink every time because you're gonna use the supplied funnel, which I think is pretty cool. And then you're gonna then pour the soap in there. But you gotta be mindful of how much is in here and how much soap uh, is coming out of your bulk bottle. So that you just learn over time, Try, uh, trial and error and fill Take a look and eventually you know, if you're you know if you're really you know serious you could use something like this as a dipstick like you would in a car and just check for check for depth knowing that if you get about halfway on a skewer you're probably in good shape okay the soap bottle is installed and now it's just a matter of priming it for the first time and that's just nice. I think I like the way that comes out. It's got a little bit of a forceful squirt. It's not an ooze. And that rubber nipple, it keeps this from dripping. There's no uh, after effect. That's pretty cool. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or useful or gives you the confidence to do your own uh, 
soap dispenser, go for it. Um, it is fairly straightforward. The hardest part is getting underneath. Have a great day and please like and subscribe.